Thank you for joining us at ChristianPhotoshops.com. Today we're going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial, and this one is going to be how to create a flyer, specifically an Easter flyer, and we're just going to be using one picture. And uh, this picture is um, a picture of a dogwood tree in spring. Uh, the pink blooms are starting to come out, and I just snapped a quick picture. Uh, just a quick composition of the flowers on the tree with a blue sky in the background, and we're going to be using this picture and uh, also we're going to be using a texture picture. This is just a picture of a, a rough piece of paper. So just the picture of the flowers and the texture. We're going to be creating a nice Easter flyer. So let's go and get started. I've got the canvas already open. Um, it is a 4x5 um, dimension flyer. So we'll go ahead and start adding the elements into this canvas. We're going to grab the uh, flower picture and just drag it right in here. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this picture. Actually, I'm going to flip it vertical. And I'm going to put it about right there. This is going to be the top part of the flyer. All right, I'm going to duplicate this layer. So I now have two copies of the flowers. I'm going to flip this one horizontal and then I'm going to flip it vertical and then I'm going to resize it and make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to put it about right we'll say about right right there all right, so we have a top element and a bottom element, and they're pretty much the same picture, um, but this one is reversed, and it's um, you know flipped horizontally and vertical, and it's a lot smaller. So hopefully at first glance, people aren't going to realize that uh, it's the same picture, but it's the same picture of the flowers on the top and the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to erase um, the edges of this picture on the bottom. So just click your mask, go to your brush tool, Make sure it's 100% opacity and just use a large brush and just paint off the edges of this bottom, this bottom picture of the flowers. So just erase that. Don't worry about all the other white parts in there. We're going to take care of that in a second. But just erase those hard edges off that picture. Now to blend the two pictures luckily we have a nice solid blue background at uh, the sky is the background so we're going to be able to use that to our advantage so go ahead and create a new layer above everything else and then we're going to paint the background in these white spots and we're going to paint a blue so go to your um, your color picker right here and then pick one of the blues in the picture use your large brush and just paint over the white spots with that blue brush. Okay, that looks good. You can notice that up here, right, right here in the the top right part of the picture is dark blue, and we just painted a light blue. So all we're going to do is just select that blue, that dark blue right there. Change your, uh, your brush size a little bit larger and your opacity a little bit lower. And then you're just going to start painting dark blue down onto the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this part of the flower. I don't think we're going to need this part of the flower. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that part right there. Change my blue just a little bit lighter. And then right over here, I'm going to make a quick adjustment with the blue and just kind of fix that a little bit. So this is a pretty quick way to fix, uh, to attach the two backgrounds. So just paint, you're just essentially painting the same color as the background. Now, if we had clouds in the sky 
or a different background, this wouldn't be possible. But since the background is pretty much a solid blue, we can do that very easily. All right, so we've got our, our blue background that we painted. I'm going to go ahead and the blue that we painted for the background to blend the two images, I'm going to add a little bit of noise to that. So go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and I'm going to do about 1% of noise. And the reason I do that is because what we just painted was uh, pure Photoshop blue, and uh, the sky that we took with the camera, the camera sensor is going to have noise on it. So we're just kind of mimicking the blue paint in Photoshop with the picture. Um, so it all kind of gels together. All right, so we've got the basics of the background. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. So just right click on the background, click flatten image. And for this flyer, I think we're going to create kind of a um, kind of a vintage, grungy, um, muted colors type of picture. So the first thing I'm going to do and start working on my colors, I'm going to go to adjustment layer, go to selective color. And we're going to turn these blues to kind of a, instead of a bluish color, we're going to kind of go more yellowish greenish. So on your colors selection, click your cyan and just Take the yellow scroller and just move it all the way to the right, or maybe not all the way, maybe about 75%, 70%. You can move your cyan even further to the right. You can play around with the sliders and try to get the color you want. I'm going for kind of a, um, a greenish, kind of a pastel color for the background. So here's our before and after. Next thing we're going to do is, above everything, go to uh, Adjustment Layers, go to your Solid Color. I'm going to pick kind of a royal, kind of a royal blue. Uh, this color is 1A519C. And then I'm going to change my Blend Mode to Exclusion and change my Opacity down to about We'll do about 30, 35%. The next adjustment layer is going to be your brightness and contrast. So just click adjustment layers, go to brightness and contrast, and I'm going to add the contrast up just a little bit, about 30, 35. And then the brightness is going to just go up marginally, about, about 10 or so. Now we're going to go ahead and use our texture layer. So just click on your texture layer. This is just a picture of a piece of paper with just rough scratches and edges and everything like that. You could take a picture of a piece of paper if you want. You can go online and look for grunge backgrounds. They're all over the place. So just uh, find one you like and just grab it, bring it to your picture. Change the size of it so it, it fits onto your picture. Go to your blend mode and go to overlay. And then reduce the opacity and we'll reduce it to about, about 50% or so. Now we're going to create an adjustment layer. Go to gradient map. And for this one we're going to use kind of a purple to orange color. Um, the colors I have selected are 200636 and FFC 580 and we're going to change this to overlay and bring down your opacity just we'll go to about 60% so here's before and after just adds a little bit more contrast with the, the different color tint I think our background our blue color has turned to a green with all these yellows and oranges so go to your selective color that you created earlier and you can turn that off and on so you have this is our original blue this is our new greenish blue and I kinda like the maybe like a halfway mark so let's go about 50% on your opacity alright that, that looks good right there 
So I think this is a good background for the flyer. I think we're ready to go ahead and start adding text. And for this flyer, I was thinking just uh, three words, the he is risen, part of uh, Matthew 28, 6. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And so we're going to do he is on the first line and then risen on the second line. So I'm going to type in he is in caps. Uh, the font I'm using is for he is, I'm using elegant light. Um, you can get this online at uh, dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, dafont.com. So you can go there and get this font for free if you want. So I'm going to use he is. I'm going to put it about right there. And then I'm going to create a new layer and blow it. I'm going to type in risen in all caps. And for this one, I'm going to use another font called uh, Tondu. This is also at dafont.com. Um, so I'm going to use this big bold font. So just kind of a contrast between the bold um, risen and then he is in kind of a thin font. I'm going to put that about right there. Um, I'm going to make the he is um, stretch for the, the length of uh, risen. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I could make it, um, I could make the size of the font just larger and just stretch it like that, but I, I think I don't really like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a combination of making it bigger and stretching it out. So go to your window, click paragraph. On your character, you can um, change the spacing between the letters and it kind of spaces it out. So if I did like 200 you can see how it spaces the letters out, but it doesn't make the letters larger. So, I mean, I could go as far as 500 if I wanted to, or, or larger, and it does that. I'm going to do um, about 150. I think that's good. And uh, we'll go about 200. And then for the rest of the way, I'm going to make it larger. So just make the text larger and we're going to make, make it about the same width as the risen okay get your check mark see how that looks I think that looks good I'm going to change the risen to um, overlay so just change your blend mode to overlay go to he is and change that to overlay as well and then we can move this around wherever you want. I think kind of right right in here looks good. And now we're going to add the Bible verse below, which is, which is Matthew 28, 6. And for Matthew 28, 6, let's, uh, let's go and add a new layer. Matthew 28, 6. And for this font, um, I don't want to use the elegant or the tondu. Um, I want to kind of even add more contrast. We're going to do like kind of a cursive one. So um, I like to use the uh, font called KG, eyes wide open, also on defont.com. And we'll drag this down below the Bible verse. And I'm going to make it a lot smaller so it's not too distracting. And I'm going to stick it about right there, maybe even a little bit smaller. About right there. And I'm going to change it to overlay, just like the other two. And maybe a little bit lower. Just a little bit smaller. Alright, and I think we can call this a finished flyer. All we did was take one um, fairly boring picture of a, uh, a um, dogwood tree in spring, and we used it, and we manipulated it, and we made it a uh, we made a nice um, flyer for Easter. So um, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. It only took about 15 minutes. So any picture you take out there, there's always potential in using it and uh, using Photoshop and using your tools to your advantage. So if you have any questions about this flyer or this tutorial, just contact me at any time. And uh, thank you again for visiting ChristianPhotoshops.com.